Hello, I'm Peggy, your postal assistant. I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating your e-career profile. Please pay attention because this information is very useful for your application process. Let's get started. Once you click on the e-career profile tab, you will be routed to a registration and login page where you will fill out the required areas. This will include your first name, last name, a new username, a new password, and your email address. Please be sure to read the instructions provided on this page. There are requirements for the username, also referred to as login ID, and the password that you will create. The registration and login page will look like this. Completely fill out the registration and login page. You will only have to fill this page out once to create your account. Under user data, be sure to write down your username and password you create in case you forget it. This will be helpful to you as you will need to log in to the site throughout this application process. As the instructions tell you, you must enter your email address twice. Make sure to use an email address that you check regularly because the United States Postal Service will communicate with you through the email address you provide. After you have completed the page, click Register, which is located at the bottom left of the page. After you click Register, the next page will be your candidate profile. You will need to read the instructions on the screen and fill out all the areas that are required for you to fill. The page will look like this. To make the process easier, click on the yellow box that says Show Roadmap. This will show you the nine steps required in order to complete your candidate profile. The nine steps are personal data, work experience, education and training, general eligibility, veterans preference, attachments, assessments, review and release, and last, completed. Please fill out the page completely with your personal information. You must add your personal information anywhere you see a red asterisk, as a red asterisk means mandatory. After you have put in all of your required information, click the box at the bottom that says Next Page. The next page to appear will be Work Experience. Please answer the five questions listed. If you have worked in the past seven years, you will be required to add your work history under Question 1. If you select Yes for number 1, a box will appear where you can put your work history. Please start with your most current work experience. Even if you are unemployed, unemployment is considered work experience. Click on the box that says Add to start filling out this section. Once you click Add, an area will appear where you will enter your employer information. It will look like this. Please be sure to completely read each category so you can better understand what is being asked of you. Again, each area with a red asterisk is an area that is mandatory for you to fill out. On the first line, enter your employer's name. If you are unemployed, simply type Unemployed in the area that says Employer. The next section is Government Employment Type. There will be three options which are the following. Postal for postal positions, Government Agency for Government Agency positions, and NA for positions that are neither postal nor government agency positions. Please select the description that fits. The next area states select on the checkbox if this is your current employer or if you are currently unemployed. Only check this box for your current work experience. Leave the box blank when you add your past work experience. Next is grade level. A grade level is a pay scale for federal employees which determines the pay level for a specific position. If you know your grade level, fill it out in this line. If you do not, move on to the next line. The next line is for the start date and end date. Please enter the date using the format requested, which is month and then year, the two-digit month and four-digit year. Keep in mind, if this is your current work experience, there will not be an end date. You will only enter your start date. Complete the rest of the page and click Save. To add additional positions, click Add and complete each field. Make sure that you save at the end. To edit or delete something under your work experience, please select the blue box to the left of the start date of the position you want to edit or delete. Once you click on the box, the entire row will be highlighted in yellow and the option to edit or delete will be available for you to click. Clicking edit will expand and allow you to edit anywhere necessary. Once you click delete, the entire row will be deleted. Even if you did not work for the past seven years, you will need to put your employment history. Remember, unemployment is part of an employment history. There cannot be any time gaps in your work experience because the system will not allow you to move on to the next step. Therefore, be sure to include all seven years of your work experience. Once you've completed your seven years of work experience, starting with the most current, select Next Page.